morning everyone welcome back to my channel thanks for joining me again this morning in the foothills of the Hruit River mountain uh, I'm actually surrounded on three sides by hills and mountains and the fourth side which happens to be the east uh, is where the Sun's gonna rise so I'm hoping for a nice sunrise you can see there's some color in the sky behind me already prediction was for clouds and fog uh, there are some clouds unfortunately no fog but uh, yes, uh, very hot again this morning. Uh, when I left home at about quarter past four this morning, it was already 28 degrees. I'm not sure what it is here now, but there's absolutely no wind, so it's going to be a scorcher. But thanks for joining me, and let's see what I can find today. It'll be primarily, I think, sunrise uh, images. I'm um, hoping for some foreground interest. Uh, there's some nice rocky formations around here. Maybe I can find something. But let's see what I can find. Well, it seems like I'm not getting the hope for fog this morning, but uh, we are building up to some rather nice colors in the sky. As you can see on the screen there, that's the distant mountains, probably about, what is that? That's probably about five, six kilometers away. Uh, I'm at 240 millimeters, and yes, the colors are just changing nicely. Um, six seconds, F11, ISO 100. I've got some hills in the foreground bottom, a ridge, uh, mostly towards the left hand side and then there's the mountains further away. So I've got two layers and then the clouds, um, orange, yellow at the bottom, building up to orange and then more purplish towards the top. So even though there's no real foreground interest, the, the midground interest at least is reasonable. I'm reasonably happy with this first image. Um, I absolutely love the colors, the, the shades of blue, purple, with a bit of yellow and orange in there. The composition is also quite nice, the, the mountain in the foreground that slopes down and then the other mountain that fits into the slope. Uh, so at least three different layers uh, before we get to the sky. Overall, quite a nice image, nothing spectacular, but it would have been better with a bit of fog maybe in the foreground, but uh, you don't always get what you, what you ask for or what you hope for. But overall, quite a pleasant image. Well, even though I don't have the expected fog, it looks like we're going to have quite a nice sunrise. The, the sky is uh, coloring nicely. Uh, some clouds on the horizon or towards the horizon. As you can see on the screen, uh, I've got some, a ridge of hills closer to me uh, from the bottom left towards the right corners. And then further away, quite a few kilometers away, I've got the, the mountains almost like hazy uh, in the haze in the distance. And then the sky that is coloring quite nicely from yellows to oranges in horizontal lines towards the top where it's almost magenta. So I think even though the, the foreground is not that spectacular, the colors in the sky will, will make up for this image. Uh, 2.5 seconds, F11, ISO 100. There are probably quite a few more compositions that I'm going to try towards the north. Uh, it's quite nice and orange at the moment. Let me try in that direction. Well, not that spectacular towards the north. Uh, the clouds are actually clearing in that direction. But towards the east, uh, the colors are really starting to pop now with some deep reds coming in. You can't really see it on the, on the screen there. Sorry, I just got distracted by a noise to the left of me here. Not sure if it's a baboon or a kudu. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll show you the image uh, that we capture here. Uh, two seconds F11, ISO 100. I love the, the ridge from the left going down and then the, 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 and then the other ridge behind it going up. So the two are forming a bit of a cross in the middle of the screen. A bit of foreground interest, even though it's not perfect. Okay, I can now see them. There are actually a herd of kudu passing about 30 meters behind me, probably on their way to their 
destination in the mountains where they're going to sleep this very hot day off. Um, I got here to my shooting position at about a quarter to five this morning uh, am, <laughs> and it was already 28 degrees Celsius so this is going to be a scorcher of a day. Just keep on taking images as the colors change and then in post-processing I can select the one that I like the most. This composition is actually very similar to the first one. I moved the camera slightly plus there's a bit more color in the sky so uh, it's probably a bit more pleasant than, than the first one. Uh, also because it's a bit lighter there's a bit more detail in the foreground even though I didn't try very hard to recover detail in the, in the dark foreground because uh, I don't want to see too much of the foreground. It's just plain, lots of trees on a plane, so not that interesting. But between the two images, I think I actually prefer this one uh, to the previous one. Continuous change of colors. The color slowly but surely getting more intensive. Still shooting at 240 millimeters. And the exposure looks quite nice. The red is almost overexposed, so it might be worthwhile to go slightly below 0.3 of a stop underexposed. Uh, these Sony cameras don't like overexposure at all. It's far easier to recover a, a shadow than to recover a highlight on them. Uh, that looks a bit better. Definitely usable. Recompose slightly in that direction. Um, the mountain is now out of the image, but at least I've got the, some foreground hills that are quite interesting as well. Just look at those colors. Absolutely beautiful. One normal exposure. No compensation. Yes, that looks fine. I'm just waiting for a little bit more light. Uh, once I have that, um, I've got a little tree here that I'm going to try and shoot with a sunrise as a background, but I need a little more, more light on it to try and get it um, enough light on the tree. Some tiny little clouds on the horizon there. Some interesting little clouds there on the horizon in the what is basically the V between the hills. It's getting light now, only half a second at F11 ISO 100. This is definitely more about the color than the composition and though the, there are some interesting patterns in the clouds but it's still too dark to see any of the foreground. Um, maybe I'll try on the hill, I'll try a uh, exposure bracket. Maybe I can get some of the foreground interest, uh, enough light on the foreground interest to make it worthwhile. Just get this baby level. Okay, let's see, normal exposure. And then I'm gonna start overexposing by one stop. Two stops and finally three stops just to see if in post processing if I can get some of the detail out of the, the very interesting hills in the foreground. I managed to capture quite a few interesting images here. Um, I'm going to show you two of them. Um, this is the one with the hill on the right hand side and then those little fluffy clouds uh, just building up in the V between between the mountains the hill and the mountain in the background I should say with the beautiful colors in the sky the different layers uh, and some foreground interest in the clouds as well that are a bit closer to me unfortunately those little clouds didn't uh, build as much as I hoped I was actually hoping that they would uh, build up to be more serious clouds the second image I just turned the camera slightly to the left try to catch trying to capture more of those clouds but you can see they form a line just above the horizon but they never really grew much um, of the two images, I think I actually prefer the one with the, the hill in it completely. But this one is also nice, the, the, the lines, uh, the horizontal lines, especially the yellow one, uh, makes for an interesting composition. 
But as I said, uh, this is mostly about the color with a bit of abstract pattern in the sky. Um, but there was never enough light to really capture any foreground interest. I found another composition with some foreground interest. We've got a, some rocks in the foreground, a layer of rocks with some very interesting small plants growing on them, including just off center uh, towards the, the left hand corner, there's like a yellowish succulent bush. And then further in the distance, we've got mountains and then of course the sunrise. Unfortunately, the, the sunrise colors are fading quickly. So I'm just taking a few quick shots before that goes away. 1.6 seconds. F14 and I'm shooting at about 20 mil, 24 mil and that is the same I'm now shooting at 40 mil, 2 seconds F14 I'm hoping the, the lines uh, in the rocks leading uh, towards the, the sky will will make this composition usable I might have to f uh, exposure bracket this because the foreground is still relatively dark but I'm worried that I'm going to overexpose the the sky yes I'm actually overexposing the sky so I'm going to underexpose by 0.7 of a stop let's just see what that looks like still a tiny bit of overexposure in the sky so I'll make it 1.3 stops minus 1.3 stops should give me a nice sky with some color in it indeed and the foreground is not too bad but what I will do just to ensure I've got the foreground I'll do a plus one as well excuse me four seconds at f14 unfortunately the color is now fading quickly uh, it only lasted about I would say eight to ten minutes I ended up spending quite a bit of time on this image as you can see in the final results I ended up also cropping it a bit I had to do quite a bit of work to try and get some detail in the foreground and, and I think I succeeded in getting some nice detail in the foreground. Unfortunately there's um, a, what is it, a branch that crosses the horizon almost just to the left of the center of the image and that that is not, not very nice. I really don't like that at all. Um, potentially I could clone that out uh, but it would be quite a bit of work not to disturb the image overall. Um, I like the image, but I think uh, I'm going to have to try and reshoot this at some point. Maybe wait for a morning uh, with a bit more um, cloud action, a bit of fog maybe, and then definitely try and shoot it uh, without that branch. Um, but yes, I did shoot another image here. Um, let's see if that's a bit more successful. As I was about to pack up with the sunrise gone, I saw this. Um, simple composition rock in the foreground a tiny little tree and then some mountains in the back but of course what makes the image uh, are some interesting patterns in the sky some nice cloud formations I'm just going to try this um, I've got the rock in the foreground with a forms a bit of a line uh, going from bottom right towards top left and then we find that at the end of the rock there's the, the tree trunk starts it goes up towards the middle into the tree and then horizontally behind that we've got the line of the clouds and the light leading towards the right and the slightly more colored uh, clouds so a bit of a, zig, a zigzag Z pattern um, maybe it could work I'm gonna just have to make sure that I don't have issues with the sky overexposed like that yes overexposed I'm gonna to have to do a minus here make sure I'll, I'll make it minus one stop 1 15th of a second f14 of course I always almost always ISO 100 and then to get the foreground right I'm gonna also exposure bracket I'll do a plus one stop plus two plus three because I specifically want the details of this rather nice rock in the foreground I'm not too happy with the little bushes just to the right of the image but yes, there's not much I can do about them. If I move slightly further to the left, then I get uh, even more stuff into the image that I don't want. Final image, uh, plus three stops. Overexposed. Change the composition slightly by just zooming in a tiny bit more. I was at 17 millimeters. I'm now at 20 millimeters. The idea is to exclude some of the ugly stuff towards the right. Unfortunately, I'm also excluding some of the beautiful cloud towards the right. 
but I'm hoping there's still enough interest in the background to make this work. Um, I'm going to have to just check the sky, yes, very bright sky, slightly overexposed. I noticed that I was actually shooting that at plus 0.3 of a stop. This is now minus one stop, underexposed, but still a tiny bit of overexposure. I'll just do a, a two stop to be sure. And then on the other side of the exposure, I will do a plus one point, oh, let's make it a plus two, just to get the foreground sorted. I think this composition would be quite interesting. Unfortunately, the, I've lost the line in the rock that leads towards the tree. But I'm hoping that the, the rock is interestingly interesting enough in the foreground to still be usable. Well, this is my third version of the shot. I've now actually moved further away, slightly further away at 17 millimeters again. But now I've got a nice, the leading line with a rock again towards the tree. And I'm getting some of the interest, more interest in the sky, but it's getting very bright now. So uh, definitely overexpose by one stop to get the foreground. Or yes, overexpose. Let's do that way around first. Confusing myself here. Yeah? Do a plus two stop as well. And a plus three stop. And then I'll definitely have to get at least one or two images. Maybe a minus one stop. And if the sky is probably still too bright, I'll do a minus two stop as well. There's that little very bright spot in the sky on the right hand side of the image. Now oh, that's fine. This is, I think, actually the last composition of the morning. I think it's the last one, unless I find something on my way back to the car. But it's also most likely the one I, I prefer. Just shows you never give up. I think that is quite pretty, everything considered. I do have a polarizer on, so I'm, but uh, I don't want to overuse it. Get a little bit of extra color in the sky. That's going to work. I can't wait to get that on the computer at home. Well, the last image of the day is actually the one that I, I like the most. Uh, I would have liked some of the beautiful red and orange colored skies that we had early on. But this is also fine. Um, what I particularly like about this is the rock in the foreground or the, the rock bank uh, with the leading line that points towards the from bottom right towards the middle towards the tree and then the tree leads your eye up into the sky. And then the bit of color we still have on the right hand side, just above the horizon in the sky, that's pretty nice. Um, the slope on the left hand side is also nice, uh, in the, the slope on the hill, or the mountain I should say, and then that's also um, uh, mimicked by the slopes in the cloud. The cloud also has the same, for almost 45 degree angle down, all pointing towards the middle of the image and the tree. Overall, um, quite a pleasant image, I really like it. Um, the colors, uh, I would have liked a bit more orange in the sky, but um, it is what it is. But um, I think this has got a lot of potential, this composition as well. I must definitely revisit it on a, on a spectacular morning again. But as it often happens, the last image of the day is the best image, as far as I'm concerned anyway. What do you think? Well, I think that's it for this morning. I had a reasonably nice sunrise, although it didn't last long. And I found two compositions, uh, both of them including the tree, um, that I think are usable, specifically the last one, but by now you would have seen it. And then of course the one with just the rocks and the sunrise in the background, that might work or might not work, but um, I think some of those bushes on the rocks were actually not that great. Anyway, um, appreciate you joining me and watching all the way up to this point in the video. Beautiful morning out here, not a breath of wind, I should say unfortunately, because between the heat and the insects, it's getting a bit uncomfortable. Uh, it's probably up to about 32 degrees Celsius at the moment. Uh, and it's still very early. The sun is only starting to peak out behind, behind the clouds. Thanks for joining me. Much appreciated. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. If you want any of my prints or other merchandise, have a look in the description below. I've got a 
link in there to my Redbubble site where you can buy stuff. You can also order prints, fine art prints directly from me. Uh, the very best images, I only print limited edition, 25 normally. Uh, I sign them and serialize them. And I also don't sell those images anywhere else. So if you want one of those, please contact me direct. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.